Hey, and welcome to a very special, uh, I guess, live reaction episode of the show, Lights on a Screen podcast. We are going to be talking about the 95th Academy Awards and live reacting to them. They will be dropping in the next... Uh, the nominations. The nominations <laughs> will be dropping in the next uh, four and a half minutes. Uh, but before we get there, I'd like to introduce the people that will be reacting with me and my co-host, as always, <laughs> Taylor Robinson. How are you? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm nervous. Uh, I'm already emotionally in pain <laughs> and nothing has happened yet. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, question mark. I think about, depending on how long these go for, my birthday might be happening in the <laughs> middle of recording this, so this could be terrible or it could be great. I wonder what will get announced on your birthday. <laughs> well, on, we'll, on see the midnight. <laughs> we'll see what happens, but yeah, I'm as ready as I can be. <laughs> and that other voice you can hear is the wonderful Elena. Hello, I am also <laughs> incredibly nervous, but I don't know. I guess we will see how we go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, okay. So, obviously, these drop in the next three and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. What are we expecting? Like, we, we've we've given our nominations. Uh, I've been asking both of you so far today, what is one that will have my equipment very, very damaged because <laughs> you've thrown them and broken something? So, yeah, Elena, what's one that is going to piss you off if it happens? Tom Cruise's best actor. <laughs> Which I won't shut up about, but oh, <laughs> if that happens, especially over Paul Meskel, yeah, I will be furious. I might just drive off and leave. Like I might just actually pack up and leave. Worst part is it's going to be like the second last award announced, and yeah. then Best Picture will be right. Next. I'll, I'll leave before Best Picture. I don't care. <laughs> Taylor, um, I'll be pretty, I'll be pretty bummed if Glass Onion misses out on screenplay, um. I'm still not convinced, like, everything is pointing towards Austin Butler is going to get nominated, but I'm so burned after Taron Edgerton <laughs> that I have just, I'm, like, having war flashbacks right now. 2019 so, war flashbacks, yeah, yeah. I just watched Rocket Man again last night, and I'm still furious. <laughs> so, Because he know. did everything right. He did. He did every, like, and he, and he did all the campaigning with Elton and, like, did all the performance, like. Because I remember, I remember then when that. Aired. Like, he, uh, admittedly, he wasn't the f a front runner like Austin, like Austin is. Yeah, yeah. He was always the fringe one, but he won the Golden Globe. He won, he, like, he was nominated for all of the guilds and everything going up. And you're like, he's got a chance. Like, he's done everything right. Everything that had to happen happened. And then, and then I was just crushed. And then, uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, it didn't. So, <laughs> you know, uh, I think th this. This podcast is going to be very split because there are two of us hoping Top Gun gets nominated for a bunch of things, and there's one of us who's very much hoping that does not I, happen. I don't not like Top Gun, guys. You, I just you, think it's... Well, you need to clarify that for the viewers because every time you're on this podcast, you're like, ugh, Tom True. Cruise no, and Top I gave, Gun. I gave Top Gun, like, four stars. I love that movie. <laughs> First movie I ever bought on 4K, Steelbook. It's, it's a special movie. But just in according to the Academy Awards, I just don't know if I want it there. <laughs> okay, is it more to do with the fact that the movie you're just like, okay, I really love this movie, but it shouldn't have the pedigree of an Academy Award, or is it you're yeah. genuinely terrified of who I am going to become? Both. <laughs> Both. The answer is yes. Yeah. <laughs> genuinely, I'm yeah. I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> I want to deal with just how obnoxiously annoying I am going to be for the next month. Like, six I'll weeks. literally ghost you forever. <laughs> We're not going to be friends anymore. She will <laughs> exclusively only talk to me when yes. she's on the podcast. <laughs> so, Taylor, <laughs> isn't it so great just doing this, just the two of us? <laughs> literally, yeah. Because <sighs> I like Taylor's also rooting for it, but. You've made it your like brand. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah. I know. This I, is like you've you've put all of your chips in. So oh, if, you're, yeah. if you're wrong, you're gonna be so wrong. <laughs> if but I'm if you're right, if I'm wrong, I have a bet with a friend that if I am wrong, I have to wear a shirt saying I'm wrong for th for a whole month on every single show that I do. 
So yeah, I I've gone all in on this. To be fair, if I'm right, he has to do the same for a year. So <laughs> good odds there, I guess. I was like, oh, oh I'm doing that. I am absolutely doing that. Who's um, buying the I'm wrong shirt though? Oh, you have to. I have to buy like, it. Like, I, have to, I, have to, yeah. I have to go I have to go out and find an I'm wrong get an I'm wrong shirt printed. And Does that mean that we're going to be doing video podcasts? So you no, can see I, I, the I'm wrong t-shirt? <laughs> uh, no, I, well, maybe. Um, but I'm <laughs> we'll on, just post it on all the social media yeah. every single time. <laughs> yeah. But I do, a, um, I do a show with him every week uh, when we talk football. So I'll be on that show every week wearing an I'm wrong shirt. There you go. Here All we right, go. we're starting oh, now. Guys. If you want to listen, oh, if you do want to listen live to- along with us, just go to the uh, YouTube page for the, the Oscars, page. and um, they will be able you'll be able to stream it there. But we'll let you know when the video actually starts. It's just uh, it's a black cut. screen. It's a black screen right now, so we'll let you know when it actually starts because that will tell you roughly, so you know where we are in your live watch along. Um, my, I think my big one. That will break my heart oh. is if Paul Dano misses out. Yeah, that's fair. Here we go. All right, video is now on. Where's Martin Scorsese? <laughs> Woohoo! <All right. sighs> okay. I'm very what? Very nervous and curious. I'm, I'm so anxious. I might actually throw up. <laughs> How long is this going to go for? We don't know. It's very generally, official. Generally goes around 20 minutes. It's gen- really? Yeah, I, about I 20 think minutes. So, yeah. Oh, okay. That's fine then. Yeah. Because the BAFTAs were like, boom, 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 yeah, boom, boom. Yeah, BAFTAs boom, went boom, through this, okay. really quick. These ones could generally go for about 20 minutes. Okay. Um, so, yeah, should be really good because they generally get, they'll generally do the conversation beforehand and then they'll go into There's like an intermission yeah um, right because we've got Riz Ahmed and Alison Williams doing this so that Epic. that will be really good yep that is a very pink suit she's got it is definitely like, it is <laughs> I like it yeah I dig it <sighs> oh my gosh <laughs> Oscar winner he didn't win, did he? He didn't win. He did now. <laughs> She's like, you know what? I'm rewriting history. Yep. She's like, he should have won. Winner. Fair enough. Oh, no, no, no. He won. Was he like a producer the short on film. something? Oh, the that's short film. Yep. She was right. <laughs> okay, I like that thing she's got going on with the bow on one shoulder. I dig it. She looks very good. So does Riz. Yeah. He's my secret crush. <laughs> I don't say it very often. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh yeah, I can appreciate that. No. He's <laughs> a lot of people are sitting there yeah, like yeah. Here we stop. go, here we go. Actress oh, oh, all right. Actress in supporting oh, role. So here scared. we go. I am too. Angela Bassett. Yep. Yep. Knew it. Yep. All right. Okay. Don't don't love it, but whatever. <gasps> wow. Oh, okay. You know what? Deserved. Yep. Deserved. Yep, yep. Definitely. Yes, yeah. Carrie. Yes, 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 yes. Love it. Okay. Last two shit. Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay, so oh. literally everyone's still up for grabs. I know. Everyone's still available. Number five. Yeah! <gasps> she got in. She got wow. In Let's go. Yeah! All right. Oh my god. Wow. Oh. Costume design. Okay. Oh my god. That's awesome. Babylon. Yep. 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 Black Panther, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, yep. that's... <gasps> oh, everything <gasps> everywhere. That's okay, great. I didn't have that. All right. Mrs. Harris, yeah. yeah. You know what? I can dig it. I had Woman King instead of everything everywhere, so that's... That's interesting. Okay, that's good. That's It's looking good. It's looking good. Yeah. Ooh, best sound. Here we go. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yep. Avatar, yep. <laughs> Taylor just like manically tweeting over here. 
Batman. 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 I didn't have that shit. Elvis. Yep. Mm-hmm. Top mm-hmm. Gun Come on, Top Gun. Come on, Top Gun. Come on. Yes. yes! <laughs> All right, one down. One. <laughs> Ugh. I just want so Babylon. I just know. Babylon. It'll, yeah. All quiet and front. You weren't, there for, you weren't there for first man, okay? <laughs> yeah! Yes! Yes! Thank you. Banshee is nice. In- nice, nice, okay. nice. Everything, everywhere, yes! Yep, All right. Hell yeah. I yep. can dig it. Yep. Ugh. All right, this is the big one. This is the big one. Screenplay. Okay. Yep. All quiet. Yep. Last yes! onions. Yep. Yes! All right, oh, last yeah, onions. Nice. Is. Yes. Living. Okay, I didn't have that. All right. But I'm not. I love Kajua, so. Yes! yes! Fucking god! Yes! <laughs> I am very sorry for everyone's ears. I know. Um, <laughs> <sighs> Women talking. Hell yeah! Okay. All right. <sighs> wow, that's no whale. The whale missed out. Yeah. That's interesting. Original screenplay. Banshee's nice. Nice. That's nice. Yep. Oh, that means After Sun's missed out. No, that's in the original. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. right. Oh, Af- fuck! After Sun's missed out. <laughs> Everything everywhere. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yep. Ta. Yep. Yeah, that's... Okay. Yeah, that's what took... Yeah. Hell yeah. Triangle of Sadness. Okay, okay so, so, so Ta took After Sun's spot. I had Ta and After Sun. <laughs> Which one did you not... Do you not have Fablemans? I had Fablemans. Banshees. I had Banshees, everything, Tar, Fableman's After Sun. So that had. I don't know which one. I forgot. <laughs> triangle. You didn't have Triangle. I didn't have Triangle. And I had After Sun, yeah. Okay. Live action short film. Which, eh. I, I guess these every We'll care year. about the animated one. <laughs> yeah. 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 We, have, we actually have skin in the game for the animated yeah. one. <laughs> okay, here. Come on. Let's go, Aussies. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Come on. Nah. I don't think so. I think no, I no, oh, oh. <laughs> the whole Everyone's crowd's so just mature. laughing. Good boy, come on! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, uh, Griffiths film students! <laughs> all right, supporting oh, actor. Supporting actor. Yes. Yep. Brendan Gleeson, nice, nice, nice. Barry, known. Oh, oh, wow! Yes, yes. Wow! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Judd Hirsch. Wow. Oh, no. That means Paul's going to miss out. Barry's missed out. No, oh, no. Barry what? isn't. Whoa. Barry. Oh, my God. <gasps> no, Paul, Paul Dano, Dano. Paul How Dano, Dano Judd missed Judd out. How did get over Paul? <laughs> Holy fuck. What the Paul fuck? Paul Dano missed out. Fuck. Holy shit. Ugh, so no Brad Pitt. No. No Paul. No Paul. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm I, so yeah. Yeah. happy about that. Wow. <laughs> he is so f- effing good in that movie. Wow. All right. We have a what little bit of a break. A lot just happened. What the fuck is <laughs> happening, guys? Okay, what have we got so far? Okay, but what did we say about Best Supporting Actor? Yeah. It, it we was, knew it was yes. going to be yeah. a mess, well, but... The three... Okay, so the three that... Are probably the the favourites now is I mean Key's obviously the favourite yeah. but then um, Barry and Brendan mm. and then you've got um, I just cannot believe Hirsch got in over 
Dano. Like, I, Hirsch is great in his one scene. Yeah, but, literally one, one fucking oh, scene. But Dano that is, is... That is heartbreaking. Oh, Dano is so good in that re- movie. Should we recap the what we've got so far? Yeah. Okay, so... Um, okay, so we obviously got supporting act. Okay, let, okay, let's talk about supporting actress, obviously, because mm. we got um, uh, Angela Bassett, um, uh, Hong Chow, Jamie Lee Curtis, Carrie Condon, and Stephanie Sue. That's incredible. Yeah, that is I'm abs- so glad everything everywhere. Yeah. In. I'm oh so God. happy. Yeah, like that's that's awesome. Um, Hong was the fifth spot. Yeah. Like everyone was that's, wondering who that, that fifth, who, who that fifth spot was. Adapted screenplay, um, the whale missed out. That's I think a big deal. I look that to me yeah, might so mean the thing might mean that whale doesn't get a best picture at this point. I, I hope it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, after seeing it, I'm I really yeah. Not- so adapted screenplay was Women Talking, Top Gun, Living, Last Onion, All Quiet, which is an interesting category. It is. I'm so glad Top Gun got in. I, I, oh, stop talking. I- <laughs> Original screenplay. <laughs> Original screenplay was Banshees, Everything Everywhere, Fableman's Tar and Triangle of Sadness. I'm really glad Triangle of Sadness not in there. I am too. Yeah, yeah, I am. Even though that co- screenplay it, is great at the cost of After Sun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else we got? Yeah, uh, supporting act- supporting act supporting actor. Sure. Let's all right. Let's talk about supporting actor. Yeah, you, Hugh Kwan, Barry Keoghan, Keegan, whatever you fucking say his last name. <laughs> Br- Brendan Gleeson, Brian Tyree Henry, and. Judd Hirsch. Taylor. Taylor, go for it. What? What am I talking about? Brian. 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 Well, like, this okay, was, this listen, was your listen, one that I, you I wanted. I think I've talked about him on the podcast yeah. before. How I was like kind of devastated that, and I've talked about it on Twitter, I was devastated that no one was talking about him because after I watched Causeway, I was like, why is nobody talking about this? Like mm. he, both him and Jennifer are phenomenal in it, but his performance is like, if you guys haven't watched Causeway, I would recommend it just for that. Like I am so happy for him, honestly. Like I, I literally can't believe it. <laughs> I'm just yeah. shocked. No, I, I get it. Like it's <laughs> like it was one of those things where I'm kind of like threw it in there because like I loved it, but I didn't think that it, it would gained any happen. momentum yeah, or anything. Yeah. yeah, that's epic. All right, we're back. <sighs> far out. This is happening too. This is going too fast. <laughs> Final fourteen categories. Ugh. Original song. Let's go, Natu Natu. That's all I want. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. I had that. Applause. Okay. The wrong song from the Top wrong yeah. Top Gun wrong. song, but all right. Fine. It's a Top Gun song. <laughs> Lift me up. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Gotta give it to Rihanna. Yeah. Natu Natu. Yes. Let's go. Come on, is Chow Papa? Damn. This is a lot. Wow. wow. I didn't see that. Damn. Chow Papa missed out. I know. I'm sad. That's sad. No EGOT for Taylor Swift. <laughs> Not this year, at least. <laughs> no. Less documentary short, but meh. No, this is feature. Oh, feature. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I saw short. All the Beauty and the Bloodshed. That's good. Fire of Love. Yeah. Fire of Love. <laughs> Housemates. Okay. Is okay, yeah. No fucking moon, it's daydream! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck. It missing out on sound. I thought it would get into sound. So, yeah. I it's... thought it would get into sound. Mm. I hope it gets into editing, but that's definitely wishful yeah, thinking. Yeah, that's, that's a... That's not happening. Mm. Okay, it's so a documentary short. Uh, it's... All right, let's collect our thoughts. <laughs> International All right, right, come on. Decision to leave, let's go. All quiet. Yep. yep. All quiet. Argentina. Clo- close will be next. Argentina. Oh, no, yeah, Argentina. Then yep. close. Yep. 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 And then decision to decision leave. Decision has to be in here. <gasps> Don't you fucking tell me. <gasps> wow. No. There's your that's you motherfuckers. <laughs> She's about to walk out right now. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, animated! Oh god! Animated yeah, feature. Yeah, yeah, Pinocchio. Pinocchio. yeah, Pinocchio. Yes. Oh, fuck! I can't. <laughs> Marcel, come on. <laughs> I'm trying to 
And I'd be happy right now. Puss in- Blake's favourite movie, Puss in Boots. <laughs> <laughs> the Sea Beast. Oh, nice. I love that one. Just, I, was gonna, I, I was like, hang on, did Turning Red just miss out? <laughs> <laughs> nice, that's a good one. No, that's that wasn't bad. All right. All right. Still can't get over just having to leave. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> All quiet. Yeah. Man, All Quiet's going to walk away with like nine Sorry. nominations. The Batman! Yes. Hell yeah. Yep. Fair. Fair. Yep. Hell yep. yeah. And then Whale. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yep. That's, that, that's, that makes sense. Someone didn't say something. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Beautifully. <laughs> All right. This n- production design. All quiet. Yeah. Holy shit, they're getting Qu- they're All Quiet's going to get, so gonna get 10 nominations. Fuck. Yeah, that's going to be the most. Avatar. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Hell yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. We'd love to see it. Del Toro. Elvis. 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 Okay, Pinocchio missed out. Fablemans. Okay, that's interesting. All right. All right, this is this is the one I need Top Gun in. I need Top Gun in this one. Banshees, okay, interesting. Okay. Didn't pick that. I didn't either. Elvis, hell yeah. yeah! Everything. No, hang on. There Everything it is. everywhere. Yeah, Babylon good, good, missed good. out. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Interesting. And come on, Top Gun. Come on. Yes. Yes. yes! Woo! It's getting the right categories. <laughs> It is getting the right categories. Cinematography, let's go. <gasps> this I'm is stressed. a big one. I'm stressed. Oh, All right. Yeah. I was very optimistic with this category. Bye, right, let's go! Wow. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sorry, fuck. Elvis. Empire of Light. Empire of Light, wow. I had that, yo. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay, All I'm right. a little surprised by Elvis, I'm not going to lie. That's the first one that's hurt <gasps> Top Gun. Top Gun missing out on cinematography's hurt. Visual effects, all quiet. Yep. Thor, Love and Thunder. <laughs> no, no, it's not, no. <laughs> Avatar. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Nice. Yeah, and then yep. Top Gun's got to be in this. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I had that all Yeah, cin- cinematography's the one that's hurt yeah, so far. Yeah, but it got in screenplay. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Okay. Oh I'm gonna throw. Oh my god! I'm gonna throw. Oh my god! I'm gonna. Shh. Shh. Okay, I can breathe. We're fine. Oh my god! We're I'm fine. so stressed right now. Oh, yes. Okay. No, Brendan. No, he's in. Okay. Yeah. They're doing it. Okay. Yeah. Last name. All oh, right. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Tom, so Tom's missed oh out. My Tom's missed out. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna <laughs> fucking gonna die. Throw up. <laughs> Damn! So Cruz missed out. Oh my god! Let's here we go. go. Oh my god! <laughs> oh god She's hyperventilating. Okay, <sighs> bunch. Yes. Yep. I can't deal right now. <laughs> oh, oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, I knew no, that. Was com- I knew so that disgusting. was coming. Oh, she did get wow. in. She did get oh, in. Wow. Fuck. Michelle Williams, okay. So, what the fuck? So, no Viola and no Danielle. Wow, okay. What the hell is happening? Wow. Oh, my God, I'm so stressed. I am too. Oh, my God. I'm I'm so stressed out, guys. Oh, my God. Martin McDonough. Yep. Okay. Wait. Just stop talking. Yes. Daniel Daniel Sloan. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, makes Spielberg. sense. Okay. Makes sense. We love it. Todd Field. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Told you. Yep. 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 Roman Ostland. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm yeah. so yeah. mad. Hell yeah. Yes. 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 Hell yeah. I had, Let's go I took it kitchen. out. Oh, okay. 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 Best motion I think picture. Triangle's getting in this. Oh, my God. Imagine. On quiet. Yep. 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 Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Okay. And she's on. Yep. Yep. Oh, 
Elvis, mm. uh-huh. Hell yeah. Just stop talking. <laughs> I can see you talking with your eyes. <laughs> Everything. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Five on yep. Okay. Mm. Oh. Stop talking with your eyes. <laughs> Top gun member. Hell yeah. Hell yes. Yes. Triangles. We love, love it. Yeah. We love it. Yes. We love it. Yes. We love it. Yes. We love it. <gasps> Whoa, that wasn't <laughs> yep, where I, I thought that. that was going. Yep. <clears throat> wow. The only one I missed was Babylon and Triangle of Sadness. Wow. Okay, okay, I was wrong with my eyes talking. Because yeah, I thought it was I, I thought up. it was whale. I thought I thought the ending would be whale. Absolutely not. Alright. <sighs> That's a really good list. Holy shit. I'm That's actually a really good I don't know what just happened. best picture list. Hell yeah. Oh my God, a- I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh my God. I'm, an, I'm now a little nervous of my Top Gun pick. <laughs> um, so we've got a lot to talk about. We do. Um, first of all, first of all, I want to say all of my dreams came true in the fact that the Academy looked at the whale and went, Brendan and Hong, you can stay. Everyone else, get <laughs> yeah. the fuck out. Yeah. Like, they didn't give it yeah. any love outside of those two, those and, makeup. two and makeup, which I think are the things that it deserves yeah. absolutely mm. to be loved for. But it just got completely shut out of yeah. everything else. Good. Um, actress. Actress wow. is wild. Yeah. That to, actress to me is the, re- the result of we know who one and two are. And everyone and, and, and everyone that. else is just yeah. gone. I'm putting in my fate. I'm putting in like someone who I know is not going to win anyway, but I'm just putting them in. True. I, that's that is that result. Actor is the actor coming down to the four we all knew plus Paul Meskel is actors a race. Actor is a real race, and mm-hmm. I don't know who's winning actor at this point. Um, I'm just so. I can't. I'm so glad Paul is nominated. I literally... did. Women talking seriously only get one nomination. I think. So. But other Wait, than what? It, I think it, it got did. screenplay and best oh, picture. Oh, it got a it got That's a screenplay. It. Yeah, it got screenplay yeah, and best picture. I, I I missed that. It got yeah. I missed that. Which got... is fascinating. Mm. Like wow. I I'm like she so said so missed out completely. Yeah, yeah. which yep. is good. <laughs> she said missed out. Um, what other like big ones that we saw missed mm. out. Um I'm just having a look at my list. Decision to leave and not being yeah. a decision to leave her and for sure. F- fucking crime. I'm still furious about Paul Dano missing out. Yeah. That, for for Judd Hirsch, that That's makes really no sense interesting. to me. That makes absolutely no sense to me. Yeah, that one that one hurts. Um That one really hurts. Actually. That one is really <laughs> painful. I'm and like this one I'm happy about but I really did not see Elvis getting a cinematography yeah. nomination. I think it deserves one, but I did not see that happening. Yeah. Uh, Best director was everyone but Edward. It was Ruben, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 I, Ruben it, took Ru- his Ruben spot, coming in. Like, I'm fucking glad with. Like, yeah, Ruben coming in and taking Edward's spots. I, you're right. Like, it's, it's one of those, oh, wow, that's a really awesome moment. I'm not going to lie. When... A T movie was the last spot. I got excited. I got really excited because <laughs> I knew that it was like as soon as they started with McDonough, I was like, "Oh, okay, so it's not all quiet." Like yeah. he Bird just missed true. out, and I went, "Oh, crayon!" on." I, I, I was I was getting excited. Like, oh my god, Joseph's going to get nominated. So, uh, where, where, how are you feeling with your best picture? I'm nervous. I'm, I'm a li- I'm a little nervous. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it. If it got the if it got either director or actor, I would have been a lot more quietly confident. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I I can't tell you who the favorite is right now for the, the picture. Yeah, I think yeah. it. I think it's everything everywhere. Mm-hmm. But I can't I can't tell you that with any form of confidence right now. I don't know. Like where where, where are you guys at? Yeah, I honestly I don't know because clearly the academy had a love. A lot of love for everything everywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it did 
give some love to the Fablemans as well. Um, I feel like Everything Everywhere, Fablemans, probably Banshees, I think are still the, I think were the front runners before this and still are. Yeah. Just based on like where the nominations kind of landed. Mm. But it could literally be anything at this point. Yeah. Like, I'm still on, look, I'm still on my, I'm still on my train now, especially with um, the way that supporting actress has gone in every other award. I'm very much on the train of Banshees is going to get nominated for everything and not win a single Oscar. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, as in the movie or like, like could, would Colin Farrell count as winning an Oscar? It would. Colin Farrell counting. I, like I said, like Colin Farrell, if anyone. Because he's my do- favourite at the moment. Yeah, I think he, he is mine. But it's all really going to come down to these guilds. Who, uh, mm-hmm. like, I think if Colin wins SAG, we have a race. If Brendan wins SAG, it's over, and I think Brendan's going to win. If mm, Austin win, if Colin or Austin wins SAG, we have a genuine bona fide race. Yeah. If Brendan wins SAG, I think it's over. True. That's fair. But I don't know at this point. Um. I'm a little surprised. I'm not surprised. Um, the lack of Babylon love. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. I really thought there would be people who. Yeah, it was only like a few below the lines, hey? Uh, yeah, nothing above the line. Mm-hmm. I thought that there might have been like a push for the people who love it would have like gotten it over the line. Um, I guess being a. A movie that hates Hollywood, yeah. <laughs> maybe put, put them the wrong way around. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I really want. I can't wait to like actually dive deep into this and talk about these when on we have um, coherent thoughts. Uh, yeah, and not midnight on a <laughs> midnight on a Tuesday, and still like not actually having the list in front of me. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, but yeah, what like I don't know what what are your immediate thoughts of on a whole tale. Um, way to just like put me on the spot. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like I've kind of talked about like how I'm feeling. I think there was definitely some big surprises like we thought there was going to be. Like there are some categories that ended up just being chaotic. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, overall, like there are only a couple of things that were really disappointing but for the most part like i think they did a pretty good job of like giving love to the films that i think deserve it Mm. um yeah i i'm not i don't really have too many major complaints i do think it's really fucking weird the decision to leave missed out Mm. um that's a little strange yeah um but i mean other than that i kind of feel like things fell mostly where they we thought they were going to um in a lot of like the below the line stuff and it all just kind of shook out. Like a lot, a lot of the stuff that got nominated, I'm like, not like mad about any of it. Like if stuff wins, I'll be like, yeah, all right. Best actress is a little weird. That's the category that I don't actually understand mm. at all, outside of Michelle Yeoh and Kate Blanchett. Yeah, like that's the Andrea's. Where the hell she did got that some come from? Really late love from like. Every celebrity being like, oh, my God, this yeah. is the best yeah, but, performance ever. But, but then, I've literally never heard of that film yeah. until right now. Yeah. 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 Like it, and I'm sorry, but that's the shit that makes ordinary moviegoers be like, why am I watching this? Yeah. And I'm not saying whether that's right or wrong, but if people who are as tuned in to movies as we are are sitting here going, I'm sorry, what? Mm. Like, literally no one has been talking about that film. No one's been talking about her. Which I knew they were going to pull some bullshit like this. I've been talking about it like every time we've had a podcast. I'm like, there's going to be one where we just go, where the hell did that come from? Mm. I'm so I'm so confused. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I've literally not heard one single person talk about that film. Yeah. So I I've just, heard a little bit, but not um, enough to generate any kind of no. awards buzz, especially so late because it, yeah. it was it's just been in the last like few weeks mm. and it's so also it's a really big weird. it's a big slap in the face to viola davis mm-hmm. and, and danielle yeah. yeah where it's like yeah hmm, 
I don't want to say it, but I feel like putting in a random white woman that we haven't heard anyone talk about. And Anna Darmus, who's in one of the most controversial films of the, year. of the whole year that like, yeah. but neither of the really strong performances from black women made it in True. in films that have really been talked about yeah. the whole year. Well, like, Women King missed out entirely. I know. Women King didn't get a single nomination. Like, it's just really yeah, odd was on to the me. cusp of like best picture. Like, yeah. Like that's nothing. a, yeah. Like mm. it's, it's just it, weird. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. Like. And again, you know, the performances from people of colour outside of Michelle Michelle Yeoh have missed out entirely on actor and actress. It's all gone to supporting. True. Yeah. Which I mean, the Academy has a history of. Well, yeah, which is that's the, the conversation around best actress is one that I am fascinated by, like as people start like analyzing mm. and like talking about it. I would love to hear what happened there because that yeah i don't know that was just i don't know what to do with that yeah i don't know what to do with that all i'm gonna say is i'm really happy that babylon got nom- nominated for score because i was gonna yep. throw something through that window over there <laughs> if that didn't happen so uh paul mescal paul mescal my boy i'm so so happy i'm probably gonna go home and cry um <laughs> I like I put him in there, but I was really like not hopeful. Mm. And I was like, I'm just gonna put him in there. I'm just gonna hope for the best. And manifesting works, guys. <laughs> some really late love. I yeah. yeah. Some really so late love that's come in and gotten him over the line. Um realistically, and and I know this is me personally speaking as well, there's one snub for me, mm-hmm. and it's Paul Dano. Yeah. I think I, that's a genuine I think snub. That, I think that that's is a snub, yeah. I think that's especially the because one... Judd Hirsch. Yeah, like, like and, come and on. Look, I'm someone who if you if you put up a snub, you have to take someone off. It's Judd Hirsch you take off and yeah. you put in Paul Dano. Yeah. I don't understand it. Like that that to me is the genuine snub for, out of the five the six categories. I don't I am very happy with the best picture lineup. I think it's a very good lineup. I don't think that there's anything that shouldn't be in there. I don't think there's anything that's – like, there's movies I would like to be in there, but mm. I don't think there's anything that's missing, missing. No, I like, think it's pretty good, yeah. For the, like, yeah, like for the said, most part. For the most part, I don't really think there's a lot mm. that I'm like, ugh. You know? like, yeah, like there, there's nothing where I look at that list and I go, there's not a whale or a blonde or something where yeah, you're yeah. like – That's what I was worried about. Yeah, what are you doing there instead of Babylon? I can't argue. Like I, I can say personally, I would drop X for Babylon. I don't know what X would be right now, but like I haven't seen women talking or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like I can say I would drop this for Babylon, or I would drop this for Glass Onion. But that's a personal preference. That's not a. That's weird. What is that doing there? Like yeah. I'm. I'm now really looking forward to us doing the Best Picture Showcase and sitting down and watching all 10 of these movies. I don't have to worry about, oh, we're only doing nine because I'm not re-watching The Whale or mm. <laughs> I'm not re-watching <laughs> this or something. like. It's... I don't want to rewatch Avatar The Way of Water, to be honest, because I just don't know if I can sit through it again. That's I loved fair. it, but it's just a lot. That could actually be the one that we can't do we here. Might yeah, yeah, we might not have access to it Yeah, we might not have access to it yet. So, But like I said, like, I really I really love this list. I think it's just a really good diverse list in terms of what was the year in film. Yeah, I think the best picture lineup for the most part is very representative of what this year was in film. Yeah. Yeah. Again, is it missing some more films about people of color or the, a more diverse range of films absolutely and i think you know one movie from a female director is kind of embarrassing but mm. but give- also like we've said before it's not like you can remove a movie to replace it just and like put it in, put in another female directed movie like she said and yeah. take out all quiet for example yeah like you can't do that so it's not like it's all shit movies directed by men that could have been given to a better movie directed by a woman. Mm. I feel like it's they're all just good movies and that's why they're nominated. Yeah. 
No, this is I'm I I think this is a really great list. This mm-hmm. is I I've, I think this is probably the best best picture lineup mm-hmm. like as a whole that I've seen in a really long time. Yep. Where mm-hmm. I look at it and go, hell yeah! Like well, to me, like again, haven't seen women talking. I'm just which is not because we don't want to. Yeah, we <laughs> still just, not out here, yeah. so we can't. Still like two weeks away. <laughs> yeah. Everything on here is at four, is a four star or above. Yeah, and I haven't said that for a long time. Yeah, with, actually, yeah, same with best picture. Yeah, for me, like personally, I haven't, and I, I, and like even like you know, like Elvis and Fablemans, which is two movies that I'm not as big on as everyone else. They're four star films. Mm-hmm. Like they're they're very 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 good films. Um, yeah, I just yeah. Anyway, uh. Final thoughts. I am actually, I'm, I, yeah, I don't think I touched on this, but Triangle of Sadness Love, like really awesome that it got the, it got screenplay director and picture, right? Yes. Yeah. So that's awesome. Didn't expect any of it. Literally just thought it would get completely shut out. Um, so really glad. Um, and I mean, like you heard. I just I'm glad that Bardo got something, <laughs> even if it was in cinematography. But yeah, I don't know. That's it. Yeah, uh, like I said, I'm pretty pretty happy about most things, and I think what I love about Best Picture, other than the fact that I think they're all really deserving, really high quality films, is I think there's a great representation of just like all kinds of films in there. Like you got Top Gun and Avatar, which are representing the movies that brought the masses back to the theaters. Like people went to the theaters over and over and over again to see those movies. And those are like the big crowd pleasing, but also extremely well-made mm. films that I think is great that are getting love. You've got all quiet in the Western front, which is representing international films, which is always great to see in best picture. But then you've got films like everything everywhere and the triangle of sadness, which are, usually kind of considered more fringe. You'd be really worried about them getting in, mm. um, which is cool to see. And then you've got, you know, kind of your more, more stereotypical ones like the Fablemans and like Banshees. Mm. Um, so it's just, I think it's a really cool group that represents a lot of different areas of like the film community, mm. which I don't think happens quite as often as it should. Um, so I just, I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's a pretty banging best picture lineup um and uh yeah i'm not really sure what else to to say like i think i'm gonna need to like sit sit with it for a while and like let it let it process let it happen (laughs) well we are gonna sit here and process it uh this on saturday when uh you'll get our latest episode on saturday at uh, your usual uh, showtime drop we're going to actually really dive into the nominations and go through every category talk about them give our predictions our really early predictions before we start actually really diving in and and uh discussing these on a more micro level i guess <laughs> so uh Thank you very much for listening to this live reaction. It was fun. Uh, and happy birthday to Taylor. Yes. It's officially 12.08, <laughs> meaning it is the 25th of January Yay! here in Australia, meaning it is officially my birthday. And you know what? I thought I might spend the transition into my birthday crying because the Academy Ruined likes to it. see me suffer personally. <laughs> that did not happen this it year. Didn't. It's, it's okay. They knew. They knew. They knew. <laughs> <laughs> like, we cannot do this. Not in the year that she actually cares. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, okay, Taylor, where can people find the birthday girl? They can find me pretty much everywhere. Twitter, I have a thread where I'm, like, yelling about everything <laughs> that, has, that happened. Uh, Twitter, Letterboxd, YouTube, Instagram, pretty much everywhere, at Finally Tailored. Mm. You can find me on Instagram and Letterboxd at Elena Violet and Twitter and TikTok at Laney Film and all of us at Lights on the Screen on Instagram. And you guys can find me at Jacob London where I am apparently very quiet and just not talking at the moment So because uh, I'm very, very nervous. 
about my about having to wear a shirt for a month and also crying over the bills losing. So that's mm. uh, that's where I'm at at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, until ne- next time, guys. This has been the Lights on the Screen podcast, and we will see you on Saturday.